Hey guys, what's going on? Dale here. Just a quick video. We'll tell you, we're going to have a quick, quick look at the NAPIT Electrotechnical Online Knowledge Continued Professional Development. And since 2020, uh, NAPIT's not really carried out any assessment visits on anybody, uh, unlike NIC, EIC, who've been able to do telephone ones and calls on Skype. This is a way of saving probably hundreds of thousands of pounds, I would suggest, on assessment visits. Being in mind that somebody's got to come and assess you, spend half a day with you or even a day with you, um, checking that you've got X, Y and Z in place, well they can easily get you to send the information in and give you a 25 question exam. Uh, pass marks 75%, however there's no time limit on it. I would have liked to have seen a bit of a time limit on it um, where you've got a sort of a one shot at doing this I think it would encourage people to read through the bump that they've sent through um, covering your basic stuff safe isolation SPDs RCDs boards testing certification reporting building regs and PRS private rented sector so there's a bit of bump on there it's not going to take you uh, too long to read through it and then sit through the exam. So I'm going to go through it quite quickly. I'm not going to go and dwell on each question. Be happy to pause the video and read it. Um, if I make any blunders, which is likely to happen, because I'm going through it quite a quick uh, pace, please let me know what the correct answer was, because they don't tell you. You can go on, you can get 24 questions right out of the 25, score yourself 96% and you don't know what you've got wrong so you go away with a little doubt in the back of your mind what did i get wrong nape it please 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 put the questions that we got wrong so we can actually learn from our mistakes don't leave us hanging like a carrot it's no different to city and guild you sit an exam well done you've got 98 percent which one did i get wrong god knows you'll never know so we'll have a quick look. If I get anything wrong, let me know. Drop me a PM message or whatever and we'll take a look. So look at the first question. Protective measures. Let's have a look. So barriers and closures, drag, ADS, fault, installation of line, part, basic, placing at a reach, skilled, yeah. Basic, protective bonding, fault, protective earthing, fault. And that's that one. So uh, that's the correct answer. Luminaires, non notifiable flats, and business premises. Separate metering, of course. TNCS as combined in a single part of the system. Yep. Uh, PRS. Yep. DNO can only make repairs. That works part P. Stupidly obvious question. So two statements now. Uh, 450, 1200, 350. 1350 to 1450 finished floor level that's good yeah happy with that uh, cpc not metal covering trunking must be yep yeah. uh, private rented sector have been announced du, 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 du. england of course we're all affected by it now Periodic inspection testing so that we can use it safely. Uh, rubbish, rubbish, and rubbish. Good. Uh, means of isolation. So if locked off using the key that's common or unique. Unique, of course. Doesn't need to be visible. Blah, blah, blah. Some crap crap answers here so you should be able to get these right so type 1 surge protection it's at the source of the origin main yeah okay 
responsible for the design, da, 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 da. further inspection and testing, it's always the designer. Guidance notes on test equipment is GS38, we all remember that. PRS regulations, 1st of July 2020, requiring electrical safety checks, electrical safety checks or EICRs. Um, 1st of April, it's 31st of March, that last lot, so okay we need to the amount of sampling uh, periodic inspection and inspect yeah it's sampling of course okay which one i'm following is not an earth thing system stands out like a sore thumb it looks like teenage mutant ninja turtles to me but there we go let's move on which regulation the electricity work regulations is concerned with the connecting of uh, working lot regulation 14 Which one of the general categories categories of external influence um, is environment, of course. There are assessments of characteristics for that one and that one. A bit of insulation. Means of isolation must be provided in electrical insulation. This is required to be clearly identified, of course. Wow. Sticker on the bloody thing. What's the maximum disconnection time for a 6 amp final circuit on a TT system? 0.2 of a second. Surge protection is connected to the system. Da, 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 da. So it's in parallel with a protective device or with no protective device. Oh, now they do two types of surge protection. Um, <laughs> this is one of them questions where you've got thrown. They do two types of with a protective device. I'm going to say that that cutout fuse is a protective device, but then we're in series with it. Oh, we're not. We're in parallel. So we'll, we'll go without. Let's bugger it. Let's run with it. I'm not going to argue all day. What's the maximum disconnection time for a 32 amp ring final circuit on a TNCS? Point four seconds. Conduct conductor has a resistance of point zero five of an ohm with the lengths and the cross section are actually both doubled. It's the same. That's the right answer. And one hundred percent. So there we go. That's the assessment. Um, so yeah, the surge protection one was a bit of a dodgy question. Um, they must, I'm just thinking, I, I, I installed two types of SPDs. One um, is in series and the other is in parallel. Now the Luden are in series and the Wilex are in parallel. So who knows what they're choosing go for the wilex route if you're asked that question so you've got your incoming tails and it's running parallel with the cutout with the, with the cutout fuse which is your protective device luden again got a protective device but running series so there we go 100 percent um i've done it a few times you get as many times as you want um the questions can be a little bit repetitive uh, they've probably got a bank of around a hundred questions so that's the assessment any questions give us a shout I'll try and help you out as best I can and I would probably suggest having a look at the PRS regulations in a little bit more detail uh, just refresh yourself on building regs if you go to the planning portal they've got the categories of building regs you want to be perhaps looking at a quick read through a building regs part A, part M for accessibility and part L2A which is I think energy, uh, conservation of energy, fuel and power or whatever it might be titled but uh, have a read through them, GS38 um, and the health and safety at work regulations, regulations 12 through to 14 are usual questions so have a read, see what you think but that's a quick insight into the assessment. Thanks for watching.